How's it going guys? It's Gorilla Man back here with another Car Mechanics in 2021 video and we're picking up right where we left off back to work on this F350 Super Duty. Let me show you what we got done. 2017 F Ford F350 Super Duty it's for the new DLC. I got the body 100% last time. I got the motor in. Uh, the frame is good. The interior is missing I think one rear bench seat so that's why it shows 80. And then parts, obviously, the remainder of the truck is, have not been uh, cared for as they need to be. So, get this thing up on the lift. I'm going to start off by taking off the tires and... Ooh, actually, let me do this so I don't forget. The window tinting kit. Never used this before, so I'm going to use it right now so I don't forget. Uh, I want to do... There we go. Can I rotate? Yeah, look at that. Oh, okay. So opacity. Oh, wow, you can go dark. Oh, my. I was not anticipating it was going to do that. All right, I'm going to tint. Then tint. Yep. And then rear left and tint. Is that it? Yep. So the reason I did just the rears and the back, the, the two rear, I guess, door windows uh, is because in Iowa, which is where I live, we can have the rears done as much, but not on the driver's side or the windshield, except for what's factory. So that's what I'm doing. And I have the Iowa plate on here. So that is why. All right. These things loosened up. Yeah, there's a, quite a bit of work to be done still. Uh, let me, actually, I'll just I'll start taking this off here. So I was thinking about what, how I want to structure this truck. Now that I have the supercharged motor in it. And I'm thinking I don't really want to like throw drag slicks on here just because it seems just kind of insane honestly i do me wrong i do want to make uh a drag f350 just not on this one there's some extra config 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 files or config uh trucks in the steam marketplace if that makes any sense to you guys uh that's where i will be looking for someone to update i think i already saw one that's like an uber uber lifted truck and i'll probably try that one and i'll uh I'll turn that one into probably an off-road version and a drag version, but uh, for this one, it's kind of more of just a restore and like a daily driver that's completely souped up. Kind of, uh, kind of almost, almost like a Raptor would be. All right, so now I got all those. Let me do the engine bay quick. Really don't want to have to mess with the engine bay once I get all this stuff out of here. Just kind of want to be able to close it and be good. I already got oil in the motor, so I'm good there. All right, what do we have for fuse box? One fuse. All right, honestly, shocked I had any. Let's see, repair what we can. I guess I don't really need to be in here to repair right now. Because it's probably just, yeah, just going to repair all this stuff. Oh, and there goes the drive shaft. There is some of the parts I had uh, fixed. I don't think I really got too much saved though. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna buy what I think we need. Battery, both ABS modules. Uh, reservoir, I think I need a C, this, this. I think I need... Oh, oh that was reservoir D, not C. Oh yeah, they looked they look similar. Got the battery, coolant, washer, power steering. I'll grab a brake servo as well. Master brake cylinder. Okay. Uh, I've recently been looking through the Steam Workshop though, guys, and looking for how one. Uh, looking for. It's like, oh, I don't know what you want to call them. They're like, not upgrades, but they're like 
slight variations in parts they're added in parts that people are modding and there's been a lot recently put in like there's like neon running boards uh roof racks stuff like that some really really cool stuff that i'm really excited to actually start using and working with uh but that will be a little bit down the road as of now but it's gonna be a lot of fun i think i bought the wrong fans that's fine and one, two, three. Let's get the performance air filter. Honestly, I should just buy like 60 of these filters because it's quite literally the only one we use. Uh, and then I want to get ECU type A stage three. You know, might as well. I don't really, I'm not 100% sure what these do. I don't think I've done any of the advanced ECUs yet, only like the carburetors. I've only worked on or worked with the carburetors, I should say. Come on. Okay. This box base. Oh, I had an extra box base. All right, I did buy all the uh, relays and fuses. Couldn't remember what I was going to say there. Relay type A, type A, type B. Running low on type B fuses. Yeah. Oh, wait. Nope. What was that? That was a bad relay. Relay type B. I have 10 of those. And then while I'm in the shop as well, I might as well stock up on the fuses. And I don't even know if I have a cover here. Nope. Awesome. Uh, while I'm in the engine bay, I'll douse it with all the fluids we need. Already got oil in the motor, like I said. So we'll just get brake. We'll get wind windshield washer. Now that I got the radiator in, I can also do coolant. It's pretty. It's pretty good uh, practice that they let you. They don't let you put the coolant in until you have the radiator in, which makes complete sense because, you know, it would dump out. But I tried to do that once. Power steering. Can't quite see the fill line, but I'm sure it's on the side. All right. I think that is all the fluids and everything we need in the engine bay buttoned up. Close the hood. Get this thing up in the air. Let me grab some brake discs. Brake disc ventilated carbon. Brake disc ventilated solder B. I see. I'm trying to figure out which one we want to use. It should be good to use one that we got. All right, I'm going to go through and bang all this out really quick. I just got to drop all the suspension uh, from the front and the rear, get all the stuff taken out. And then I'll see you guys back here with a empty uh, lower chassis ready to reinstall all the, the new nice shiny parts. So I'll see you guys with that. All right, we got all of stuff ready for the suspension. Uh, thankfully, ooh, well, not those. Uh, thankfully, with this one, uh, it had all four tires coming out of the junkyard, so that means it pretty much has every suspension part already, so I was able to repair quite a bit of it. Uh, same with like that Mustang over there, it'll probably have most of its stuff, so I really didn't have to buy too much, just like the disposable parts like tie rods, shocks, uh, brakes. Obviously, I'm going to need another solid rear drive axle. Grab that. But the discs. Yeah, okay. So I got these performance discs. Probably don't need them since it's really not too needed on this one. It's not like anything special. It's just a big truck. But it should help. It should help with stopping power. Rear shock. B. I bought it. That is a bummer. Okay. 
Okay, let's do some U-bolts. Gotta say, I hate doing the U-bolts for some reason. Three-piece suspensions back there. Whoa, what was that sound? Part module? What was that? Is that a level increase? That was a level increase. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard the level just go up before. Just... Uh, ooh, what do I want to spend it on is the question. Okay, so I got seven available skill points. I mean, honestly, three, four. So this will be a 60% gain or 40. That's honestly, this right here could increase how fast I work on stuff by a large margin. So that's really nice. Next up, I'm probably going to go for... I don't really examine. I don't really care about moving that fast. But I'll probably go for just the increase in parts off. And then obviously these eventually. But I'm almost there on the on like the fullest mounting speed. Well, that is a little bit faster, actually. I can definitely... Oh, yeah. Okay, I can definitely feel that. That's really nice, actually. That is a crazy nice improvement. I just got to uh, do more single player, honestly. More single player. Oh, wow. The, the mounting speed is so fast. That can increase my... Oh, man. The potential. Okay. I'm probably going to... I'll probably try to get another level then. Alright, so there is the rear ready to go. Uh, let me check and see. We have the F-350 rims 27565 by 20. Alright, I'm going to buy some 21s. Nope. Oh. 350. 3. We're going to go to 21s. Or 4, I mean. Uh, really quick before we finish the top of this or the front of the suspension. Uh, let's go to the paint shop. I want to paint these bad boys chrome or maybe black chrome actually. Uh, let me go in here. Nope. Uh, sell parts. Sell everything below 98. Get all that garbage out of here. All right, let's see what this looks like. Let's go Rome, but but black. Uh, there we go. So let me rotate. Oh, okay, okay. Mainly doesn't really matter. Matte is kind of gross. Gloss is kind of gross. Solid's not bad. Metallic, matte, chrome. Let's go chrome. I think chrome is by far the best. Uh, which one is it going to be on? It's probably going to be way here on the back. Uh, chrome. Which one are you? There we go. Paint that. I want to get all four done. I completely forgot to do this. I need to remember to, to apply paint to individual parts more often. I should probably take off the front bumper and stuff like that then and see if I can paint that up as well. Oop, enter key. Black, go. Okay, I should put that on. Awesome. Alright, I need to go check and see if any of these other parts on the truck are normal chrome. They definitely are. Hmm. Same with the bumper. Let me see here. Give me the bumper. Give me the front. Can I take the front end? That is just part of the body. Dang it. All right, I want to see if I can get the bumper or the rear bumper painted. Let's see if I can find it in here. Oh, okay. Does paint. Okay, looks like oh, it didn't paint the parts I wanted it to paint, but it painted. Painted like the edges, not the main chrome piece.
Ah, uh, yeah, that didn't really change anything. Dang it. Alright. Oh, wait. Nope. Alright, now that I have those... Oh, uh, those tires were what size? The 275 by 60, is that what I said? 275 by 65. Okay. 275 by 65. 275 is fine. Uh, but instead of 65, let's go 60 or 70. That should be just enough. Yeah, there we go. I hope it fills up the wheel well, but it doesn't jut out, you know? Let me test real quick. This is a massive wheel well, so I'm not really too concerned, but. And the, uh, oh yeah, plenty of, sp plenty of space. Yeah, honestly, probably could have went a little bit larger, but no, I separated that, why? Probably could have done a little bit larger, but now that I know the rough estimate size on these, when I do the even bigger ones, I know what to look out for. Alright, it's a catalytic converter, middle muffler, and then what's on the back end here? Catalytic converter, middle muffler, exhaust pipe C. Rear muffler. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's cat 2, middle muffler 2, exhaust pipe C. Two, and rear muffler B V8. Rear B V8. Rear muffler B V8. That bad boy back in the air. No, oh, I always I I I right click it. No, I didn't want it to do that. There we go. I'll get this side set on. Then where's my fuel tank? Okay, let's see. Don't think we own a fuel tank. Definitely want a new one anyways after that's been sitting in the junkyard. Top here, get the fuel pump in. Don't forget about the fuel pump. This is definitely gonna have a lot of parts to it. Front exhaust pipe, BV. Oh, I did not realize about those two, nice. And then gearbox V8. I do have one. All right, and with this drive shaft in, the full rear suspension and exhaust is ready to go. That is a long, long, long double exhaust run and a long drive shaft. Take, install, balance. Last one, and then I can button up the front. Thank you. On to the next. This one should be pretty quick. Oh, I got a cheap unlock professional vulcanizer. That means I put on a lot of tires. Did I save this sway bar? I did. Did I save the steering rack? I did. These rubber bushing. Damn, I 
need another steering knuckle. Gotta remember that. I'm gonna check the upper and lower suspension arms. A. Bottom suspension arm A, one of those, or two of those actually, and then knuckle, and was it knuckle C? The clock cover, got it, awesome. Oh yeah, when I get those upgrades, I'm gonna be lying through here. Front sway and link. I can only get, I think, 55% or 45% faster part mounting and screwing and unscrewing speed, so. Up bearings. Up bearing, grab two caps. I don't think this is all wheel drive, so. Yep, we'll use the caps. Gotta say, not having performance uh, calipers is kind of a bummer. Unless I don't know. Nope. Okay. Hopefully I'm not missing this. If I am missing like a performance brake caliper or something like that, tell me, because I'll definitely go look for that. But I do not, I do not see one at the moment. End link. Missing rubber bushings. Wow, I went through I think 20 of them in two cars? That's quite a bit. Uh, okay, on upper half. Screw, screw, screw. Wheel hub. Pads. And voila, there we go. That is what I believe to be the last part I have to add. 99 of the parts. What are we missing? Come on. Starter, that actually would be a problem. <laughs> No, if you don't have a starter, I might have a might have a tough time here. All right, and then let's just move this to the test path. I need to align the wheels real quick. I was gonna send it to Dino, but can't run on the Dino if I don't got wheels aligned. It's always as far out of line as you can be, for some reason. Maybe it's just the junkyard cars. That would be my only assumption. And move this to dyno. All right, let's see what this ECU tuning looks like. I've never done it before. Oh, okay. To achieve the best performance from ECU tuning, you need to line the bars, high position, but performance, adding value to one bar changes. Okay, so it's the exact same. There we go, I got it. I had it at this so if you get all negative twos and then you have one plus five bump it up obviously and good to go 16 percent which i apply this like eight times i don't want to lose that all right so factory power of this supercharged motor 762 i don't know if that's with or without the mods on it but we'll find out here Come on, let's see it. Oh my gosh. Dude, this thing makes 
an insane amount of horsepower. So the V8 supercharged motor makes over 114% gain. Wow, so that, that ECU tuning I put in there gave it 16% gain. That, that bumped it over that 100% mark it needed. That is crazy. That is incredible, actually. Can I take this out anywhere? Can I go test this? Oh, oh, I need to get a different track. Speed track? No. I'll just take it onto the test track. I want to see what this bad boy can do. That was incredible. I don't think I've had one that high in performance. Oh, dang. Yeah, look at that. It, uh, it spins out. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you can take this off road. So I definitely need to adjust the, uh, the gearbox because in first gear, it just absolutely spins. Oh, <laughs> it spins. It spins right out. Okay. That is that is crazy. All right, we're gonna end it there though. That is that is really cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment down below. Uh, in the next series, we're gonna be working on the 2017 Mustang, uh, the four DLC Mustang. So I'm super excited about that. Gonna make this guy right here into an absolute drag beast. Like it's just gonna tear up all the other cars. Probably do another. I don't maybe either do the boss or the coyote motor. I don't really know. Obviously, the supercharger is going to be faster, but I'm not sure. It's going to be crazy. It's going to look really, really, really cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next.